The sixth Imam of Islam from the Ahlul Bayt of the Prophet peace be upon him is Imam Jafar al-Sadiq. He was given the title as Sadiq because he was the most honest and truthful person at his time. We know all the Imams are truthful in the real sense of the word. According to a hadith, the Prophet peace be upon him gave this title Sadiq to the Imam to distinguish him from Jafar al-Kadhab who appeared during Imam Hassan al-Askari's time. For the first few years of his life, Imam Jafar al-Sadiq enjoyed the presence of his grandfather, Imam Ali Zain al-Abidin, and thereafter his father, Imam Muhammad al-Baqir. Imam Jafar salam possessed vast amounts of knowledge. No one ever doubted what he said. Even when he quoted a hadith and said the Prophet said so and so, no one questioned him for proof. So he came to be known as al-Sadiq, the most truthful. Imam al-Sadiq led such a simple life that even the Sufis who are not Shias regard him as a saint, an ascetic and a mystic to this day. During the time of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq, the Umayyad tribes were busy fighting the Abbasid tribes. So just as Imam Muhammad al-Baqir did, Imam Jafar al-Sadiq also seized the opportunity and he was therefore able to preach Islam and the teachings of the Prophet peace be upon him. At one point, Imam Jafar al-Sadiq had a university in Medina with more than 4,000 students. It is for this reason that many of our hadith in our books are from Imam Jafar al-Sadiq and some people refer to the Shia of Ahlul Bayt as Jafari. In actual fact, the teachings and the school of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq was no different from the teachings of Imam Ali salam, who learned directly from the Prophet and was the most learned after the Prophet peace be upon him. Many of the students of Imam al-Sadiq later on went to become famous themselves. For example, Jabir bin Hayyan was gifted in many sciences. He was a chemist, alchemist, astronomer, engineer, philosopher, physicist, pharmacist, geologist and physician. Much later, when Europe came out of its dark ages and began learning sciences from the Muslims, Jabir became famously known as the father of chemistry. All historians agree that Jabir was a student of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq and his knowledge came from the Imam salam. Another example is Abu Hanifa, who first learnt the Quran, Tafsir, Hadith and Islamic sciences from Imam al-Sadiq, but later on formed his own opinions and became the founder of the Hanafi Sunni school. Malik bin Anas, the founder of the Maliki school, was also a student of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq salam. An atheist claimed that Allah did not exist. One of his inventions was that he put soil and water in a bucket and after a while there were worms inside. Then he said to his people, I have created this because I was the cause of this creation. Imam as sadiq replied, if it was you who created that, how many worms are there in the bucket? How many are male and how many are female? What is the weight of each one? The Imam ruined the man's superstitions Narrators have said that the man seized his speech and then ran away. Towards the end of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq's life, the Banu Abbas had gained full control of the Muslims. The Abbasid Khalif could not tolerate to see how popular Imam Jafar al-Sadiq was amongst the Muslims. He therefore arranged for the Imam to be poisoned. He is buried in Jannat al-Baqir in Medina, next to his great-grandfather Imam al-Hassan, his grandfather Imam Ali Zain al-Abidin, and his father, Imam Muhammad al-Baqir, peace be upon them all.